Hey, we're here with Hannah, and she's from the Dream Team? Philly Remember? Dream Center, Philly yeah. Philly Dream Center, you call yeah. them the Dream Team? Yeah. Okay. And today, there were there was a, a whole load of people come up from Virginia. Yep. And tell us about that so story. So we first. have one team that's here from Erie, Pennsylvania, and then we have another team that's from Virginia, and we have a total of about 30 people on our team right now. Um, and they're here serving with us, coming out in Kensington, just loving on the people here. Um, Amen. Doing literally just being God's hands and feet. Lifting up Jesus. Yeah. Right. And then uh, on Thursday, we have another team of 35 that are coming. So there's going to be a total of about 65 people serving this weekend with us. We love what you're doing here. Yes, yeah. we do. Yes, we do. And I want yeah. to promote it as much as I possibly yeah. can. Yeah. Amen. It's all the Lord. It's all the Lord. I we take none of the credit because without Him we couldn't we could not be doing this at all with, if it wasn't for Him. Yeah. So yeah. And you live in the neighborhood. I do. Yeah. Oh, you I live do. at the center. I live at the Dream Center. Yeah. 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 And how long have you been doing that? How I long? moved down here in October. Oh. Okay. So about six months ago. Where were you? Yeah. Where were you from? I'm originally from uh, Scranton, Pennsylvania. Oh. Okay. So the Poconos. Yeah. 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 And. Waiting for the uh, elder and to go so by. I originally I first met Pastor David and Cherie in the Dream Center back in 2019 because my church came down on a missions trip yeah. um, through about three years ago and that's when I was first introduced to them and I got off the bus and I saw the conditions of Kensington and instantly my heart broke Wow! and yeah. I, I felt the call to inner city ministry back in 2017 when I was in Bible college and um, I, did, I knew I was called, but I didn't know what that consisted of. I didn't know where the Lord was going to lead me. And then when I came here in 2019, I was, the Lord was like, yep. But I was in a season of my life where I couldn't. I was running a, um, I was running the children's ministry at my home church. Okay. And I promised the Lord like two to three years. And if you call me out of that, then I'll go. But if not, like I'll stay. Right. And so I felt the call instantly, and but I couldn't go yet. So okay. here I am two and a half years later. I'm so glad. To see, uh, it's so great to see all you young people. Yeah. Here. Yes, it is. Yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> awesome. Come here. Let me get a picture with. <laughs> yes, we are so blessed to have them come, and the Lord yeah. has brought more soldiers, and they yeah. love Jesus. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. all Jesus is all over these people, <laughs> my brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you were, yeah. uh, I guess you were raised in a Christian family, I was, and you were yeah. in church all the time. Mm -hmm. And oh, was, it, was there, a, was yeah. there an event in your life when Pastor it became more real to you? Um, or? When I was 13, yeah, yeah I went on a youth convention with my church and hundreds and thousands of youth were there. And yeah. that was the moment where I really felt the Lord really immediately where I was at. And that was the moment where I decided to just surrender all to him because I was going through a lot even as a young teenager. I was dealing with a lot, but then um, shortly after that, like I got water baptized and I started living for the Lord, but then a lot of different series and events happened in my life where I started just walking away from the Lord and I didn't really care much anymore. Well, we're so glad you did. And yeah, and so when I was 19, that's really where I fully believe, like, I fully surrendered everything, like completely. I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I can't live this. I can't serve two masters. You know? Um, I was 28 before I came so, to that realization. Yeah. So, and it was right before I went to Bible college, literally two months before I went to Bible college, where I was like, I can't keep living this lifestyle. How much of a hypocrite and a fake am I going to be living this lifestyle and then going to Bible? Like, that's just not, it's not it. And so, yeah. And yeah. after you that, so now I'm 25 now, and so since I was 19, I would I say wasn't it's going good. to ask your age. <laughs> well, thank but, you very much. Yeah. Hannah, this is Hannah. I think I said that at the beginning. Yeah. I kept on thinking her name was Sarah, but I was wrong. So thanks. Of course. Of God course. bless. Thank you.